Cowboys. Cowboys open their three-day mandatory minicamp at the Star on Tuesday. The biggest reason for optimism once again this year because of the biggest guys on the team. Here's CBS 11's Keith Russell. On a team filled with one-name superstars, Dak, Zeke, Witt, Dez, Lee, it's five guys who will hardly ever get their names called who will help determine how far the Cowboys go. These guys are some of the best of the position in the league. They understand that. They recommit to that every week. And so they're, uh, they're really our kind of our identity as a football team. The big three are locked and loaded. Arguably the best left tackle in the league in Tyron Smith, best center in Travis Frederick, and best right guard in Zach Martin. We're going to have to go out and prove ourselves every week, and, and we know that, and uh, we know we'll have a target on our back, but we're looking forward to the challenge. The challenge is being as good as they've been and leading the way for the other two starters, whoever they end up being. It's just their knowledge of the playbook and just the way they gel so well together. And I mean, you can honestly plug anybody in there and they're going to be able to make them look good. The standard is higher this year. It's not like last year. Um, so, you know, right now we're just focusing on, you know, the best five guys out there. But will it be Jonathan Cooper at left guard and Lyle Collins at right tackle? Or will Chavs Green surprise everyone grabbing one of those two spots? You know, I'm trying to, you know, get you to start and roll, you know what I mean? Um, working at left guard, working right tackle some, but just trying to get out there, you know, like I said, just prove that I can be that guy. We don't know who's going to be in there, but I know there's a lot of talent. That's a group of guys that work so hard that, you know, you really don't worry about them. As for the pressure of living up to their reputation as the best unit on the whole team, leave it to a former three-time Super Bowl champion to say it's not that big a deal. They've been doing this, baby, all their life. They was born to protect. They came out of their moms protecting. Come on, dog. Protecting the dream of America's team, the Cowboys offensive line. Keith Russell, CBS 11 Sports. And we got Clarence Hill. He hasn't had a bad minute, let alone a bad day. And, uh, and working through this and, and, and working back from an injury like this uh, can be challenging. Sometimes it can be lonely. Just a clear eye view. The focus, vision, and determined belief and, and earned dreams is something that I live by. And, um, you know, every day is a new day. Every day is a new day. Every week is a new week. And this is Cowboys Minicamp Week. Clarence Hill of the Star Telegram. Cowboys beat writer is with us. And Clarence, do you have a clear eye view yet of whether Jalen Smith will make an impact this season? No, no one has. You know, and anybody that says... Sounds like Jalen does. Well, Jalen, he has to be optimistic. And Jerry Jones is optimistic. And Jason Garrett is surprisingly bullish on Jalen. But, but again, you're asking a, him to do something no one's really done before. Uh, he's gonna, he has, still has drop foot. You know, he still has nerve damage. He just doesn't have feeling in his foot. You know, and he looks good in drills. And, and, and certainly, he's doing things. He's gonna play. There's no doubt he's gonna play. But the Cowboys did not get Jalen. They did not take a chance on Jalen just to get a guy to play. They got a chance. They took a chance on him because they were hoping for a impact player, a top 10 draft talent. Will he be that? That's what the Cowboys need on defense. And, and so do you think he'll be starting against the Giants first game? Yeah, he's going to start. He's going to play. The question is, how, how many snaps does he get? The question is, how many snaps he, he gets, and again, how well can he play? It's one thing to do drills, and he looks good in drills. He certainly is doing the side to side and doing the chase and the pursuit drills, but football is not drills. And you know, when, when you get high load and you have to jump over a pile and you have to change direction, you know, can he do that? And can he do that throughout training camp? Can he do that for 16 games? Can he do that at a high level? That's what the Cowboys need. Uh, Des is tweeting at a high level right now. Des tweeting yesterday at Darrell Rivas. Dallas, I promise you are going to love what we got going around here. Your attitude fits our culture. What do you make of that? <laughs> I think that that's Des misconstruing a Rivas tweet or, or a Instagram post when he posted a picture of he and Dez and says, is. you know, uh, time to be a GOAT again, or get back to be a GOAT again. Revis is looking for a job. And he's, you know, saying, I'm trying, I want to be a GOAT again, I want to play again. He wasn't necessarily saying, I want to play for the Cowboys. And Dez took it that way, I believe, because the Cowboys have committed themselves to the young guys in the secondary. They've certainly got Nolan Carroll. They have Orlando Scanners, they're veterans. They're really not interested in 
a progress stopper. And that's what Ravens would be right now. If they go after a guy like Ravens, it would be in training camp when those young guys decide or they find out the young guys can't do it, then they will take a chance on the veteran. They're not going after a veteran like Ravens right now. All right, how about uh, Dak Prescott going into his second year? What is the biggest obstacle facing him this season? The true biggest obstacle? His defense. <laughs> his defense. Can the defense stop somebody to help them out? Can they stop... Uh, Aaron Rodgers on third and 21 or whatever it was. Can they do that? I mean, certainly you look at a guy like that and you say, well, it's his second year. You know, maybe teams have a book on him. But this guy works hard. He, the Cowboys were, are bullish on Dak Prescott, and they've been bullish on Dak Prescott from the beginning because of his work ethic, because he was a guy If he that, takes a step back, it won't be because of anything like that. His work ethic, no. his knowledge of the game, it, it, that he, sort of he's thing. He's not RG3. He didn't trick anybody. You know, he ran the offense. He threw to the open receivers. You know, that's why he was successful. That's why he's going to be successful again. I think the biggest obstacle he faces and this Cowboys team faces is the schedule this year. Oh, I mean, no the first place schedule, and there, I find, I find three games on that schedule that I mark down as W's, and the rest of them are toss-ups. Well, that's why opinion. they're not going 13 and three. I got them at 10 and six. You know, will that be good enough to win the division? We'll see. But they're not going 13 and three because their schedule is much tougher. All right, let's get to the.